On the biopsy navigation screen, users will fine tune and reconfirm their registration adjustments in two planes before taking biopsies. The live ultrasound on the top screen, overlaid with the pink MR outline, is simultaneously viewed with the source MRI data on the bottom. The one centimeter cubed grid boxes are used in addition to keeping the pink MR outline in check through the use of internal fiducial markers or structures that can be seen on both ultrasound and MR. Tools such as pan and rotate remain on the toolbar. Continual, fine-tune adjustments will be required to maintain coherence throughout the procedure. If the ultrasound needle guide shown with the white dots is not aligned with the pink Euronav needle guide, corrections can be made by sliding the square pink box at the distal end of the dotted line. In our example, we are using an N-Fire probe. So for us to check our alignment in two planes, the probe is twisted 90 degrees from the sweep position to see a parasagittal view. Side fire probes can switch between sagittal and transverse views with the press of a button on the probe. End fire probe users are encouraged to perform rotational adjustment. The tool for rotational adjustment steps is activated on the static toolbar on the left of the live image viewport. For more information on rotational adjustments, refer to the Euronav user manual. The intuitive target and biopsy lists on screen left activate the target of interest and track the number of cores taken at each location when the add button is pressed. If users want to map systematic regions, they can be added to the end of the target list by pressing the toggle button. The selected target in the list influences two images on the right of the screen, showing the target location in a static sagittal MR view above and a 3D view that actively reveals movements of the probe array. The 3D view may be used in conjunction with the color-coded guidance bars that direct users to the specified target location. Green outlined targets come into view as the colored guidance bar is diminished. A centroid with a red dot represents the center of the target. Influences created by navigating to targets and external pressures on the probe often cause the ultrasound image to lose alignment with the pink MR outline. Modifications can be quickly refined by pressing the left mouse button on the live image. This action automatically applies the pan tool and temporarily freezes the live image to allow for corrections until the mouse is released. It is advised that movements of the probe be restrained while these fine adjustments are made. Registration must be continually monitored and maintained throughout the procedure Checking in two planes again may be necessary. The toggle on and off button for the use of elastic deformation is only active if elastic was computed on the previous alignment screen. Once the target is aligned with the biopsy guide and the MR outline is properly delineated with the ultrasound, by default, an automatic needle detection tool triggered by the freeze button or foot pedal will mark the distal tip of the deployed biopsy needle. If a needle tip is not detected by the computer, the user can manually mark it by left-clicking on the distal needle tip. Please note that this video does not demonstrate the deployment of a biopsy needle. Simulations of manual needle tip locations are being demonstrated. Once the tip is marked, press the Add button to acquire a screen capture depicting the core sample. End fire users may choose to take samples in multiple planes. Density of structures in the gland can cause needle deflection. Deflection is seen when the biopsy needle trajectory does not align with the pink needle guide. To manually adjust for deflection outside the needle guide, double click with the left mouse on the actual distal tip seen on screen and Neuronav will temporarily adapt the pink dots to be parallel with the needle path before pressing add and capturing the core sample. Overall, users should always verify and adjust the mark if necessary.